Press 1 for store hours. Press 2 to speak to a representative. If you've ever been greeted by a recorded message instead of a human, you've experienced IVR, which stands for Interactive Voice Response. When a customer calls a business, the IVR system answers the call and presents the customer with a menu of options. The customer can then select an option by pressing a key on their phone keypad or by speaking a command. Once the customer has selected an option, the IVR system plays the corresponding response. If the customer's question is not covered by the responses programmed into the system, the IVR system can then route the call to a live agent. Interactive voice response is used to handle a wide range of customer inquiries, including questions about product availability, account balances, and shipment tracking. It can also be used to collect information from callers to make appointments, take payments, and even provide customer support. To make a payment over the phone, many IVR systems allow callers to save their credit card information without having to use a keypad. Businesses of all sizes can use IVR to automate tasks that would otherwise be completed by a human operator, such as answering customer questions, taking payments, and scheduling appointments. Your customers can also experience less wait time since they don't need to wait to talk to an operator. One of the major benefits of using IVR is that it can help reduce the number of calls that agents need to handle. Contact centers with high call volume often use IVR. By offering self-service options, IVR can help to free up agents to handle other tasks. Not only can this help reduce call volumes, but it also can help reduce a contact center's first call resolution time. When you're using an IVR system, it can collect data about caller behavior and call patterns. With Dialpad's IVR analytics, you can see how effectively your calls are being routed and which menu options people are or aren't using. Let's say you find that people never choose two on their keypad to learn about pricing. You might consider removing that as an IVR option to create a menu that only covers questions your callers actually care about. Now that you understand what IVR is, you might have heard of this other acronym, ACD. ACD, or Automatic Call Distribution, is a phone system feature that automatically routes callers to the next available agent. ACD systems are typically used by call centers to reduce wait times. You can use both IVR and ACD together in a contact center. So what's the difference between IVR and ACD? ACD only routes calls to teams or agents, while an IVR also routes callers to the proper department or extension, and it can be used by pre-recorded messages and menu options to allow a caller to find information on their own without talking to someone at all. Do figure out what questions your customers usually call in for, what calls you want to route, and which questions you can answer with a pre-recorded message. Consider providing different options for different types of callers. Don't try to do too much with your IVR system. Keep the menu options simple and concise so that they are easy to understand. Too many options can be confusing for callers and will likely lead to more calls being transferred to agents. Do implement an IVR system that sounds like a human, not a bot. Don't vary the option to speak with a rep too deep in the menu. Do set up custom IVR messages. Don't forget to test your IVR system before rolling it out to your callers. Make sure all the menu options work as intended and that calls are routed correctly. This will help ensure a positive caller experience. For more on IVR and Dialpad's AI Contact Center, visit dialpad.com.